Welcome again to Pro Tips. Hi, I'm Dean Wedekind with MaxiLift, and this is another edition of our Pro Tips dealing with bucket elevator inspections. Now, the question I've got for you today is, does your bucket elevator have a sore throat? Now, what I mean by that is that if you're not doing a very good bucket elevator inspection, you may have problems with the throat plate and with product coming down the down leg and you don't even know it or don't realize that's where the problem exists. Now, let's take just a little bit of a look at the throat plate area. First of all, you've got the trunking, which comes up here. You've got the throat discharge, which is here. Of course, those are steel parts of the bucket elevator that come together and they're welded there. What you need is a throat wiper that's gonna come up close to the discharge of the buckets. In this case, we've got CC Max buckets in our sample bucket elevator here. And you have to have a throat wiper that comes up close enough to the bucket so that you have product that hits that wiper and falls on out. That way you're able to get a lot less product coming down the downside. We're gonna look at a couple of examples, one in which we have a great example of a good throat plate and another one which was a real disaster. So let's take a look at a few of these photos. Okay, as we look at the photos, you'll notice we've got a two row bucket elevator here with two rows of Tiger Tough buckets. And we've got a great looking throat plate. And by that, what I mean is that you've got a UHMW material, which is a hard material, and slotted holes so that it can be adjusted up as close as possible to the buckets. And if you're using a mechanical splice, you can get it right up there really close to the buckets, and it's gonna be that way through the entire roll of the, the whole belt all the way around. That helps to get the product going out the discharge, out the throat, and a lot less of it going down on the downside. Now, the interesting thing about this, we see the next photo, is that originally in this brand new bucket elevator, they had urethane uh, throat plates in there. And urethane is a great wear material, but it's not a good material for a throat plate because it's flexible. It can bend down, it could possibly get caught on the buckets and cause damage or could come loose. Now, I was called out recently to a facility where it was a, a sand facility. You'll notice in the next uh, photo that uh, makes specialty glass, and so they have very fine sand. It looks like a snowstorm inside that boot section. They called out because they said that they had purchased a new belt and buckets from MaxiLift, and after a few weeks, this is the example of what they were getting in the boot area. So I came out to take a look. Let's take a look at the next photo. When I got there, I said, let's go up to the head section. I think we might find the problem there. So we went there. You can see an inspection door on the right-hand side of the bucket elevator head section and opened it up. And I'm gonna show a short video here. Once again, this is a slow motion video in which uh, you can see incredible detail. In this case, you'll notice that there's a big gap between the throat area on the left and the discharge point of the buckets on the right. And that big gap is there because the throat place plate is completely missing. This bucket elevator was not receiving new product. So everything that you see coming out of the buckets right there is being recirculated because there's no throat plate to catch it and continue on down through the throat. Now, of course, as you continue to watch the video, you see that there's a lot of product that's built up in the throat area. And you'd wonder, why is that? Why is it stopping right there? As we go just a bit further, you'll notice something is blocking the throat discharge. And in this case, it's actually the throat plate that has come loose. And what happened is that the throat plate is made of a rubber belt material, which is very flexible. Somehow it had gotten loose, gotten stuck, maybe got caught on the buckets, but somehow it had come loose and got lodged in there. This created a problem in the sense that you couldn't get the capacity needed out of the bucket elevator. It also caused a lot of back pressure, so you had air pushing out down through the bottom of the bucket elevator, causing the snowstorm that we had seen in the earlier scene. So as we look back here again at our bucket elevator, we look at the Maxi Tough AA style nylon buckets. There was nothing wrong with the buckets. There was nothing wrong with the belt. The problem was the throat plate. Now, if you have questions about your bucket elevator or the throat plate, get in touch with us at MaxiLift. Go to MaxiLift.com. You can see our Pro Tips videos on YouTube. Just do a search of MaxiLift INC. I'm Dean Wedekin for MaxiLift and Pro Tips.